So there's this quote, which is, we see things as they are. We see things not as they are, but as we are. And take a look at the, at the cartoon there, right? We see things as we are. No matter how hard we try, we cannot get ourselves out of the picture. No matter how hard we try, there is something that is blocking us from being able to actually see. Can we just welcome that? Can we make peace with that? Can we understand that we cannot have a 360 degree view of ourselves all by ourselves? Because no matter which way I turn, when I'm trying to catch my shadow, it's always going to stay just out of reach. But the best way for us to be able to understand our own shadow is by how it shows up in our projection. What we are projecting outward gives us a window into what is actually happening within us. But we have to be aware enough to be able to, what we say in the quantum living, is reclaim the projection. Take that projection that is out there and bring it back right here. And I will say this, that it is so much more empowering to be able to bring it right back here because I can't do anything about that out there. I have no control over that person out there, but I do have control over me right here. This, I do have spiritual authority and autonomy. I have the choice to be able to grow and transform myself. And ultimately what this practice does is it actually brings us more compassion. It brings us more wholeness. Because we're taking those, those parts of ourselves that are separate and outside and we don't want to look at. If we can't be comfortable with our own sense of ourself, how can we possibly show up for others? If we, which I believe we are, called to be a beneficial, loving presence on this planet, that that's part of what we're here to be and to do, then part of how we do that is by walking through this place within ourself so that then we can show up for others with more love, with more grace. The healing that we bring for ourselves is then showing up everywhere. Everywhere.